Today, if it doesn't rain too much, we're going to do two tests in one. Actually, there's no rain falling here right now, but I can hear it in the trees. So, anyway, we're going to test the velocity of three different varieties of ammo in a very popular carry gun, the North American Arms 22 Magnum. And this is the one in 5 eighths inch barrel. So, we're going to see how some popular carry ammo fares as far as velocity. And uh, actually two popular varieties and one not so popular variety that I haven't even seen for sale in a while. So the first one is the Spear Go Dot 40 grain jacketed hollow point short barrel version. Says this ammunition is optimized for use in two inch barrels. That's the gold dot. That's the first one we're going to shoot. The second will be the Hornady Critical Defense 22 Winchester Magnum. Also short barrel optimized. And it's rated at a thousand feet per second from a one and seven eighths inch barrel, so slightly longer than this barrel. And it's 45 grains, so a little bit heavier bullet. Now the final round we're going to test, I really like this ammo. One thing that I liked about it was that uh, it was just about the least expensive 22 Magnum ammo you could buy when you could actually find it. And somewhat lower velocity. It's also a 45 grain, and it's rated 1,550 feet per second from a rifle, which most 22 Magnum ammo is rated at anywhere from 1,800 to maybe 2,100 for a 40 grain bullet. So this is a 45 grain plated hollow point bullet, hence, you know, the low price of it. And, uh, Winchester Dyna Point. Wish I could find some more of this, but we're going to see how it does in the short barrel. You know, these are, in my opinion, these are probably the best of the North American arms because they're still, unlike some of the, uh, the newer ones like the Sheriff and the 1860, which I would like to have, you know, but those things are 300 bucks. Well, 275 for a single caliber, single cylinder, 300 or more with, uh, with both cylinders. And I've only got the Magnum cylinder with this, but uh, it was less than 200 bucks. And the thing I like about it is it's just large enough to be able to shoot it a little bit better than the small frame 22 long rifle and even smaller frame 22 short versions but it also has a little bit longer barrel to hopefully get some more performance out of it but at the same time it's still small enough and short enough and light enough to be easily pocket carried pretty much regardless of what you're wearing so I like it we're gonna see how well it works So we're starting out with the gold dot 40 grain jacketed hollow point. By the way, I believe I said we were doing two tests in one today. The second test is this brand new camera. 
which is a HF R50 cannon. First time I've ever fired it. So we'll see how well that works out. I currently have it on, let's see. I have it on 24 frame per second cinema mode, standard cinema. So we'll see how that looks. Zero two. Nine thirty two. That wasn't really enough to get an average, but it was enough to get an idea. So, I'm going to call it, in the absence of further testing, I'm going to call it 925. I do intend to do further testing, though. But uh, that was the 40 grain gold dot. Now we're going to try the 45 grain Hornady FTX. Seven two. Nine fifty four. Nine seven five. Nine seven five, or it didn't take one or the other. I'm not sure. Well, we've got an idea anyway. It's pretty obvious that the 45 grain Hornady is actually faster than the 40 grain CCI. That's already what I was carrying in it. Nice to be vindicated. It definitely felt hotter. Okay, let's try the Winchester.
Winchester Dyna Point, 45 grain. I'm going to take a wild guess here and say it'll be 750. Ninety-three. That was pretty close. All right, I'm going to try five more shots of that because I'm not satisfied with just one reading. I actually think that Winchester Dyna Point wouldn't wouldn't be a bad carry load because it feels reasonably powerful and if it is indeed doing right at 800 feet per second that is reasonably powerful and especially since it's 45 grains so that gives it a little more momentum and it's easier to shoot. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but it is easier to shoot than the hotter stuff, especially the Hornady. Hopefully this will work. Eight oh five. Eight eighty six. Eight thirty three. Didn't read. Well, but that's definitely enough to you know, draw some conclusions. I'm really surprised at how well it did. Except for one shot, it was all over 800. So, it's 45 grains. I don't know. I hope this thing is recording. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to say that uh, for me, all you know, the three loads are are close. But in reality, I will put the gold dot at number three. Without any further testing, you know. I mean, once I do some penetration testing and so on. I think that uh, I'll be able to draw a better conclusion. But just based on the, the feel and shootability combined with the velocity and bullet weight, I'm going to say that uh, I would take the Dyna Point over the gold dot. It's probably going to 
expand a little better because it's only plated, it's not jacketed. So it's basically going to be similar to a 22 long rifle bullet, which, you know, they're designed to expand at a lower velocity, and that's why they don't, one of the reasons they don't have a jacket. The jacket does retard expansion, which is good, you know, in a higher velocity gun. Higher velocity cartridge and, you know, higher velocity gun too, because obviously a 22 Magnum rifle is going to shoot a lot higher velocity than a, than this little pistol. But, uh, yeah, 45 grains, it's heavier than the gold dot, and yet it's really not that much slower, and it's definitely easier to shoot. So, that's a, uh, that's a pretty good combination. And if it were to come back at, I mean, I was paying seven and a half dollars, eight dollars a box for this stuff before it went away. So if it came back at ten dollars or less per box, yeah, I would stock up on the stuff. And uh, so it's almost going to be between that, you know, I mean, of course there are other loads out there too that I haven't chrono tested. And probably will get to at some point, maybe soon. But uh, right now, with this this level of testing, I'm going to say it's between the Dyna Point and the Hornady FTX. The Hornady FTX does have a, a marked increase in performance over the Dyna Point, but of course, it's harder to shoot. So, you know. It's a moot point anyway, since you can't find the Dyna point right now, or you might be able to. I don't know. Let me know if you see any. But uh, I can find the CCI Gold Dot right now, and I can find the Hornady FTX. So between those two, I think I'm going to go for the FTX. Keep watching. I plan to do penetration tests and test of other ammo and so on in the near future.